Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm going to be playing with the Tropical Wonders palette by Certify and this is what she looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. All matte palette. Mr. Fluff's off on one. It's an all matte palette so if you would like to see how I created this look then just keep on watching. I've already primed my eyes with the ABH eye primer. I love this. Everything else I have on my face will be listed in the description box below, along with the details of Amy's accessories where you can get these earrings and necklace. So quickly moving on. Um, firstly, I just have to say, look at the artwork on this palette. It's so beautiful, the beautiful lion. And then on the inside, you've got this elephant how gorgeous is that um, it is an all matte palette um, but it's so pretty I absolutely fell in love with this as soon as I saw it so uh, an all matte look today we're going for which is why I primed my lids as well as above so what do we want to go in first I love that you can fold over the so you're not trying to hold it like this you can actually fold it over I just I love that simple things please me so the first color i'm going to be heading into is sunray which is this beautiful yellow and sunray is going to be going on the inner part of my lid and crease oh okay just put that down a bit my old eyes are creasing. Ooh. This is a nice yellow. I've heard a lot of good things about the uh, Certify Shadow formula. Um, but I'm pretty late to the game in trying it. But I don't mind that. Because for me it's not necessarily about what's new. It's about what I like. What I enjoy playing with. And... Uh, just because something isn't new, it doesn't mean it shouldn't have its time in the limelight. I don't think, anyway. But I love this yellow. This yellow is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. I do have to say, I am impressed with this yellow. It is gorgeous. So this morning, I watched Debbie's videos, um, Debbie's Final Beauty, and uh, talking about her goals for 2021. And it kind of got me thinking about New Year's resolutions, goals, stuff like that. Um, she was saying about New Year's resolutions tend to be more negative and that goals are more of a positive. So I was having a think and uh, I think if I am making a New Year's resolution, it's definitely going to be to be kinder to myself um, because I have had this costochondritis since October and I haven't left my house since October um, and I've been pretty harsh on myself um, so I've been feeling useless, I can't wash my own hair, I can't, I can't do much <laughs> um, and I've been pretty hard on myself, I've put on a lot of weight and I find myself telling myself that I'm useless and that I'm I'm no good at anything and that I'm just a pain, a burden for everyone around me. Not that I have many people around me because obviously we are in this lockdown. Um, but yeah, anyways, getting off of the negative bit, my New Year's resolution is going to be to be kinder to myself because it's not not like I've asked to have this and I am purposely not doing much. It's just because it's so painful to do much. Right. And next I'm going to... Oh, I didn't say what brush I used. So the brush I used for the yellow was just a little Morphe fluffy brush. doesn't have a name or number or anything, but I like it. So, using the Spectrum A12, I'm going to be dipping into Toucan, this beautiful orange here. 
and I'm just going to place that next to the yellow. That yellow's got an awful lot of pigment. Just like, oh, it's beautiful. It's a very pretty colour. I will blend the top uh, when I've finished placing the colours. For now, I'm more concerned with just placing them down and blending them together a little bit. I can always go in and do some extra blending afterwards, should I need to. The orange, bizarrely, has less pigment than the yellow. Which, uh, yeah, that really does surprise me. <laughs> That's a very, very good yellow. And I'm a sucker for yellows. I do love a good yellow. It does seem to take longer to get the pigment on this orange. But it is a very beautiful colour. It's kind of more of a soft orange, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I never know if I'm making any sense. So, who knows? <laughs> but this is so beautiful. And it's been a while since I've done an all matte look because I do love my shimmers and glitters. I love to sparkle. Um, but I didn't want to bring another palette in to work with this one. I just wanted to see what it could do on its own with no help from anything else. And so far, so far I'm uh, really impressed, I do have to say. So next with my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease, I'm going to head into Hibiscus, which is <laughs> this beautiful pink here, and place that next to the orange. So let's see what this baby does. Okay, she's pretty. I'm not getting an awful lot of kick up either in the pans, which uh, I've actually, with a lot of these brighter pans, I've come to expect, because uh, I don't mind it at all. I'm just kind of meshing that at the top a little bit because I want to get the shape that I'm going for. I can go back in and re-intensify re any of these colours if I feel the need to. So at the moment it's just really about colour placement. And then lastly, using uh, just this little Morphe fluffy brush from the M -M -M Mitchell collection, I'm going to dip into Starling, which is this beautiful deeper purple. And this one is going to be our finishing colour. There is a bit more kick up actually with this particular shade I'm noticing. But I don't mind. I'm not, not bothered by kick up because if you get a bit of kick up you just pick that up next. <laughs> well, that's what I do anyway. And just slightly overlap that with the pink there just dabbing so i find that um especially with the brighter colors if you kind of dab between them they mesh slightly easier but i'm not really getting any fallout either which uh i'm happy about because i've already done my base So yeah, on to goals. So thinking about goals for 2021, um, I'm limited to a certain extent because I don't know how long um, this costochondritis is going to hang around for, which is extremely frustrating. But if I let it get to me, I'll just cry all the time. So we're not doing that. Um, so realistic goals. Um, so I'm erring on the side of caution and assuming that this isn't going to go for a while. So my goals for my channel are going to be to 
improve on the quality of my videos listen to you guys um, hopefully get some hints as to what it is you want to see and also I know it's it's kind of a stretch for the first year in YouTube but I'd really like to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 if I don't it's not the end of the world um, but it would be nice <laughs> Right, now I'm just going to go back in and kind of blend them out, just using the brushes. Did I say what brush I used there? Yeah. I'm just going to go back in and blend out the colours using the brushes I used to apply them. So no extra product, just blending them out. I do want to bring the yellow down onto the lower lash line slightly, so we'll add a little bit more, just because I want that to be the, the connection to the lower lash lower lash line yeah, and then just buffing that out and just little circular motions just to blend out the edges I do love an all matte look I don't know why I don't do it more often it's just uh, I don't know I can't answer that one <laughs> All right, then back in with the brush for the orange. I'm just going to blend that out into the yellow slightly, into the pink slightly. Just gentle pressure. I haven't added any more colour, although I think I'm going to add some more just uh, on the lid here because I feel that we've lost it a little bit there. Bizarrely, it's the yellow that's overpowered it. Not something that... I thought I would be saying. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. I do have to say I'm very, very impressed with the formula so far. Obviously, this is a first impression, so um, I wouldn't have any kind of final views because I'm only going to be using, well, I'm using as many of the colours as I can. I do love a rainbow look. Now, so far, this yellow is the standout for me. I can't. I just can't get over how how beautiful it is and how pigmented. Wow. And then back into the brush that we used for the pink, just to mesh that as well. And then back into the brush that we used for the purple. Right, for the lower lash line, I'm going to go into this blue Atlantic with my Pract pencil brush from Sigma. So just dipping into Atlantic and I'm going to use this to join up to the purple just on the outer third of my lid and then just up into the purple a bit. This is our connecting colour. This is a lovely blue. These colours are all working so well together. So just the outer third there, just mixing it into that purple, just so that they blend nicely together. I'm just tapping over the the line between them and then just making sure I've got the shape there and then finally on the middle of the lower lash line I am going to go into Bermuda this green here more of a teeny green Not sure yeah, so just taking a bit of Bermuda on my Zoeva 230 Lux pencil and just going to place that in between the yellow and blue there and just slightly smudge it in either side to the colours. I love a rainbow look. 
definitely the, the pick-me-up I needed today. And do any of you guys uh, find that, that when you're feeling really crappy about yourself, bright colours, or even just certain colours, certain looks, or even just playing with makeup makes you feel better? Because uh, it's like my little therapy. It's makeup therapy and talking therapy in one because I get to talk to you guys as well as doing my makeup and I love that. And I love it when uh, we chat in the comments, the comment section. I love it. It's so nice to get to know you guys a bit because obviously it, you see my face and you hear me talking all the time. Um, so it's nice to hear a bit about you guys when we chat in the comments. I like that. All right, and I'm just going to lastly just dip back into the yellow just a little bit um, just to mesh that into that green a bit better. I love this. This is really... I feel like I've got carnival on my eyes and I love it. Definitely all what I needed today. I'm just going to take just a, a clean brush. This is the 224 Lux Defined Crease by Zoeva. So I'm just going to use this to gently feather the edges just to take away any harsh edges there. I find this brush, because it's so gentle, is really good for, for this purpose. I'm just taking a little bit more of that blue just because I want to get this shape a bit better so because obviously this is an all matte palette for the brow bone highlight because I can't not do a brow bone highlight I'm going to be dipping into this highlighter from Makeup by Lisa it's the shade Pearl and it's got a really nice um Kind of blue violet shift to it which I think will really make this look pop oh yes that's exactly what I was looking for that is beautiful so pretty yeah just mixing it slightly and what I'll do is go back in with the brush for the pink and I'm just going to oh look at that I'm just going to quickly dip back into that blue using the Morphe fluffy brush from the M -M -M Mitchell set because I think this just needs a little bit more oomph out here. So I'm going to nip off, finish my face and then come back to show you the finished look and let you know what my first impressions are of the Tropical Wonders palette by Certify. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so I'm back with the finished look. What do you think? I decided to go all out rainbow today. I really needed cheering up and I'm loving how this is looking. So just to let you know what I've popped on, I've used the mascara, barium, that's how I roll. The eyeliner, the black eyeliner, the outer wing and inner wing is Lois Cosmetics Fine Style. And the rest of it is Artitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one. And then the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics in the style NV. In my waterline I have the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green. The blusher I've used is Chatty Cathy from Pout and Shout. And the highlighter is from Makeup by Lisa in the shade Pearl. And lastly on my lips is the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens Liquid Lipstick in the shade Teacup. I love this. So this palette, 
wow the tropical wonders palette by certify i i love it so far i've used quite a few shades actually and i do love how you can fold this over so i've used one two three four five six six shades that's pretty good going i think and um, they've all performed beautifully the yellow i can't believe the pigment on that yellow it is absolutely gorgeous so i'm so happy to have tried this this is definitely one i'm going to be playing with a lot more and i'm loving wearing a matte look because it's been quite a while since i've done an all matte look and when it comes to rainbows i do love an all matte rainbow so yeah, that is it from me today. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you're not subscribed already, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. Um, you'll mainly find colourful makeup looks and indie brands on my channel. However, I do do the odd neutral and venture out of the indie brands a little bit. So if that's something you think you might enjoy, then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.